Howdy everyone, and welcome to episode 10. Uh, this one we actually tackle another artifact, jump straight into it, and um, do a few little bits of taming and, and growing and whatnot. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of gain and loss in this one, so it's a bit interesting. Um, as well as showing you a little sneak peek of the Christmas goods. Uh, it's just for the intro and the outro, because I record them separately to the actual episodes. And uh, we've got a fair few episodes actually recorded. It's just getting them edited and voiced over and whatnot and getting them out to you. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I like all the sparkly lights here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, we'll see you in there. And uh, yeah, have a bit of a laugh at our mistakes. All right, looking good. Little monkey. Five. <laughs> Little buddy, I don't think you want to be here. <coughs> Alright, if all goes well. <coughs> we can make him run up to here. Which be pretty good. Where's the Giga in relation to, to here? Mm. Alright, so hopefully that'll not stop him. So the idea is that... Oh, her, sorry. Drag her in, put a whole bunch of traps here. All amongst this bit here. When she gets trapped, I'll put one here. One here. Don't walk on the bear trap because you get stuck. And then two at the back. Here you go, Shane. Yeah. Cool. Oh, nice. I was literally taking him off. Um, alright. Oh, couldn't move. Oh. Alright, it's sure he's got it. The only reason why I've kept this little gap here because I'm pretty sure the gig can fit through there. So hopefully doesn't recognize these ones here. Yeah, we'll see. Range on this thing is terrible. What was that? The range on this rifle is terrible. Oh, it's really slow. The, like the bullet travels real slow. And there is a bit of bullet drop with um, a lot of those as well. Oh, cool. Rex is <laughs> right, I got the Rex. Ah, oh. oh, no. Uh, the Morphodon's coming after you, Shane. Pissed it off. Yeah. Careful there, Owen. Keep an eye on it. Run, on. What? Seriously, on that side? Yep. <laughs> I just see you pop up and then drop back down again. <laughs> Me? Yeah. No, I would. Oh, right, yeah. Look this dickhead.
Maybe, uh, maybe we should get rid of some of these trees. How is this missing it? I'm hitting it. Oh my god. <laughs> it can't eat whatever it's trying to attack. Be okay. Oh. Alright, surely you can't get out of that. Yeah, I think it's okay. I'm a bit worried about that one that's facing, that's going straight. Do you know what I mean? That, that one there. Um, I heard because of the way the dinos park now, they can kind of walk up those. <laughs> She's got her own, you mate. Yeah, I think it might be okay. Yeah, I think it's alright. Uh, if I had uh, one more, I'd put another one in front of her. If she was facing the other way, I'd pick that one janky one up and flip it around and put it in the same direction as the other ones. What janky one? The one that I put hit this one? The middle one. Oh! Oh, son. Yep. Well, it's not janky. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, let's show I already put some in there. So... Well, I put that there to try and stop her from getting out that way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just pump her, like, don't even care if she gets hit on the way down or anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's only level 20. Really doesn't matter. Just factory. Yeah, just nail her with everything. I don't think she can get out. And if she does, are you still on the top of your dino? You, you, monkey? Yeah. Yeah. If she does, then I'll just, um, I can't pick you up. You'll survive, she doesn't do that much damage. Jinky Giga Traps. That you can pick up and take home with you. Yep. But to be fair, the behemoth gate would have made it usable again. That scared the shit out of me. What the? Something hit me. Hit me. <laughs> I knew something was coming. There always is. Oh, the thing with gigas as well, um, Owen, is they have like a 360 bite radius. So you, you can't even sneak up behind them. They can bite you if you're relatively close to their back legs. Yeah, okay. Trying to get some of that headshot damage. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that was not comfortable. <laughs> Everyone's sure if it's passive. Yep. Uh, no. Pick up 
some my arrows. Boost. Hello. The sound of the Giga sleeping never gets old. I actually forgot, but this actually sits three people. Which is pretty cool. I literally said that. Uh, back at base, but when we left. No. Twice. Was I listening? Obviously not. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I said I wanted to get another monkey and all three of us ride it. <laughs> it's so good. Can I drop this wild baby parasaur in the Giga's mouth? How about I drop it in your mouth? There we go. Oh, there's a random Rex walking up the beach. What are you? Level 15, of course. Female, male? Actually, it really doesn't uh, matter. We don't need more females. I actually, I actually didn't even look, to be honest. We don't need more females. Yeah, well, with those egg collectors, um, just being able to pick them up, you know, you don't even have to be online. Get it. So all the ones you would normally miss, you're getting as well. So it kind of like doubles it, which is pretty neat. Hey, from those few little shots that I just put into the Rex, I leveled up me bird, me bird, me bug. Nice. Here's that 115 dirty you think. Got some babies and some loud aircons. <laughs> done a spino each. Falls just a little bit later for the party. I've got Ronda Rousey. She's got the good health in the melee. Which is good. Completely like Russian roulette by the way. We didn't know what we we're gonna get. No one's claimed this one. Well she hasn't got the good stats. That's fine. It's still gonna be pretty strong. And the poles is the only male. Got the good health which is good. Make me land shark. And I also hatched a little Alisaur that I had quite a while ago, so I thought we might as well do him at the same time. That's Little Owl, for anyone that's uh, watched Walking with Dinosaurs back in the day. He's not big at the moment, so he's Little Owl. And eventually he'll earn the title of Big Owl when he becomes the strongest. <laughs> yeah, these may take a little while to uh, to breed and to raise. Oh, maybe not. So uh, this bit here, I was uh, getting my replacement bug because I actually lost it. Uh, it was a horrible accident um, involving leeches and alpha raptors, and uh, it was very inconvenient. But um, yeah, so I had to get a new one, and uh, this is the the, the mother. The next generation of uh, Rhino, but it was weird because yeah, when I was coming up, I swore I saw two. So that's why I was like having a second glance back there, because I was very confused. But I uh, had a bit of trouble with this fella too, because it was doing a lot of damage, and I uh, was actually hurting me as well. Um, I didn't realize they could sort of hit you, so I had to back off a few times. They were uh, like basically get it onto another creature, so I could heal up, but um, then it would kill the creature, and. Uh, yeah, obviously most likely heal, so I wasn't 100% sure how much health the thing had. So this was a lot of screwing around, and uh, as you're going to see, it gets even worse.
Right, we got there. But I died in the process. And had to go get my spider in. Sort things out. And yeah, so that's the main uh, takeaways that I got from any of that. Oh, does it not record? The game actually locked up because of my recording, I think. So I had to force close the recorder. Big boy was very close to death. But success in it. See how much we can satisfy this craving. <laughs> Fully craved, ready to pop. Make sure the mix doesn't die. Should be fine though. Colors. I was in the Rex's colors. With that, we had a new baby. Because uh, just up in the shed there, I had the spinos growing and everything. And uh, they finally had finished. So here's uh, old Ronda Rousey, all fully grown and all war painted up to join the other bread creatures. There's little Owl as well. He, uh, he finished yeah, long before the spinos, of course. And I uh, got me Rex as well, so got myself a bunch of um, yeah, pretty decent war painted up mounts. So yeah, feel pretty accomplished. Uh, Big boy can now uh, rest; he doesn't have to yeah run around with his unimprinted defense. <laughs> he did a good job, so now he can yeah just chill out. And uh, now yeah, we've got to look after this rhino and uh, have our new bug grow big and strong so we can have all the shenanigans of carrying all the things all over the place and uh also got the saber tooth as well it's a pretty high level one it was like 135 so yeah didn't want to pass that up but yeah let's do a few little extensions and such got the, the double cookers now way better for cooking that's amazing and uh also got all my my preservatives up here going crazy with all the, the jerky, um, so that's been really handy because so we're going to be needing that. But my lord, it chews through spark powder. But yeah, well worth, especially if you're doing that candy. A uh, candy, yeah, the kibble. <laughs> I guess it's kind of candy to the dinos. But yeah, for that kibble and also for me to to munch away on too. So I had to expand the the kitchen, and uh, yeah, here's the the first version of it. It's going to change a few times uh, over the next few videos. But um, yeah, I got my little balcony. I did so many little upgrades to my house. Just want to try to make it look more, more homey. That's how I always do. I like to make it look a little bit more, and I guess functional, not just a big box full of stuff as you always see on official servers and whatnot. Um, yeah, a little bit more role play esque. <laughs> Some things don't even have to uh, have an actual function. Just I want it to look nice. That is so good. Yeah, I'll turn the. There we go. Backspace gets rid of like names and stuff. So it's just like picture. You hug. Oh my god. The monkeys are so ridiculous. <laughs> Their faces look so dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's really bright. Wow. <laughs> Alright, and next up is the Artifact of the Skylord. 
Um, this one's a fun one. As anyone knows, there are pits that are causing some death if you fall in it. And uh, yeah, we have no idea if Ascender does the same thing. So <laughs> this is our first little venture into the small compact caves that is the Sky Lord. <laughs> yeah, we're getting closer. If you want to land here, you can. Be safe here. Just to get your stamina back. There's a um, square in there if you want to go grab this pearl. Good is the strafing and stuff on this thing, eh? So <laughs> handy. It's ridiculous. There you go, got another level as well. Oh, phew, actually. Well, you should know that already. I assume that's from the thing you picked up. You know what? While I'm here, I'm just gonna refill my water. Nearly empty. Oh, that's a good idea. Mine is also Like, my container's full, but I'm not full. Uh, yeah, my container will. See, I love this. How nice does this water look here? Yeah, it's yeah, it looks good. so crystal clear. <laughs> Makes me want to build a base down here. Like on one of these things, just jutting out. Yeah, it'd just be such a pain. Like with the bugs, we could do it, because then you could just fly up and get stuff, bring it back down. But like overall, it would be actually a pain in the butt to build down here. <laughs> Alright, so just follow this cliff face, and um, yeah, there's like a ledge, and there'll be. Yeah, it's, it's quite. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, here it is. There we go. God, you do. You have to crawl in. Yeah, you can hear, hear the bats already. Oh god. All right. Well, that's cool. At least we know that um that uh um they can't chase us. What out. I would no no. What what I'd do though, just as a a thing, just to have a look up above us. You know, fly up and just have a look up above that it looks clear. It's actually usually pretty clear straight up here. It's not too bad, but there are mega theorems up there sometimes. You can't get this guy in just a little bit further. Yeah, I would. I would just have a look, you know, because there might be something you can cut off the edge or something. It's the only thing you have to worry about. What's up there? Does it look okay. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Nah. Like, yeah. Oh, no, just yeah, there's. Really... There's no way you'd get that in there. What is that? I don't think you'd get a saber through here. Alright, wanna... want some sleeping bags? There you go. Yes, please. Do we just put them on passive? Uh, I put Barry on attack target, but I put it on the lower settings, so he should only attack when it's like really low. With yours, um... You might as... I guess do the same thing. Yeah, you might as well, because if anything drops... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the setting... Um, choose target... Yeah. So you're the lowest. There we go. Bit of fire. Right, do you need some sleeping bags as well, Owen? Um, I put a bed down. Yeah, it, the, yeah, but there's cooldown only. You only use it once, like. Yeah, so here you go. Here's some sleeping bags. Once every minute or whatever it is. Oh, it's a couple of minutes. So it's always good to have, like, that's good. And then we also have sleeping bags down. <sighs> Alright. Alright. Can we. We can't just walk through. 
All right, so we gotta be very careful in here. Oh, we should have bought bug repellent. That's probably a dumb mistake. <laughs> Um, mine why, uh, yeah. You can already hear the, um... Yeah, so yeah, I told to you, the right. yeah. You can already hear the, um, artifact. Yeah, just watch the floor. And the roof as well, I think oh, there's holes go this in way? the roof. No, no, it's blocked off. There's nothing Ooh, there. Okay, so I think it might be different then. This is as far as I went. Ooh, I... Yeah, it's definitely to our right, so I don't know where you're going for. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Yeah, that's right. Because there's probably, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, treasure and loot and stuff in here as well, so... Yeah. Yeah, what you, what you really want to look out for, Owen, is like there's just pitfalls, like random holes oh, around. Yeah, he's one up here. A pitfall? Down there. Assume all of them are bad. Well, there's water in here, but there's also a bat up, up the end. Wow. <laughs> you want to test that? You can go and that yourself.
Fuck Finally. Yeah. That was mental, that one. What are you breaking, mine? Oh, my flax shirt's broken. Damn. So this uh, point, Owen died, and we took a little bit to realise, but his little baggie actually went up into the ceiling there. Um, so that was convenient. You can see it just up there now. And uh, we couldn't access it. We even um, used like, ghosting and stuff to go in there and try and access it, but no, we, we couldn't get his gear back whatsoever. But luckily, we didn't take our best gear in. We sort of took our second best, just in case something like this happened. I swear to God, Paul, he... he <laughs> He just keeps hitting us with axes. He's just, yeah, ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so that was, yeah, awesome. We got arced there. <laughs> Bloody uh, little misplaced baggies. Are you dying from cold, Owen? Yeah. Yeah, where's it? Where? Where this for a minute? Yeah. Um. Alright, I may have to go in the ground. Yeah, Owen, Owen, where that managed to destroy a bit of crystal. God, you look retarded. Sounds like the artifacts are very close. Um, well, I, can, I suppose. Oh, wait. Uh, I got these. You can wear these on as well. It's not much, but I found them on the ground. I know it's not very helpful. Better. I mean, are you dying of cold now? No, 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 I'm okay. I've got fur head. Oh, legs. Lord. I'm just trying to get enough fire to repair my gloves. Three bats, but there's a red drop. I want I that red drop. I can't remember how to let go. 
control. Cool. Oh, it's way back that that respawn. Yeah, I'll give you the this artifact to hold. Oh, we're safe. We can just backtrack out now. You gonna help me with this drop? Hell, fuck no. Get getting the second artifact first. And then I'll. Uh, yeah, look. after that. After that. Almost repair my gloves. While we wait for it, I'll have a look. If there's too many yeah. bats, I'm out. <laughs> uh, I think there's only like three. Uh, so where you are, you corner, you gotta go around. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So just right here, just to the right here, there's about three bats, and you can see the red drop. To the right? You mean to the left? That's right. There's a 135 in there. Whew. I'll check the artifact. Oh, that's a bit full. Yeah, yeah. What happened to you? Come back here. You hit me with an axe. Did you die? No, I'm asleep, but I am very nearly dead. Stop swinging your bloody axe. He disappeared on my screen. I, I don't know what happened. He just vanished. He's right there next to you. He's not here. You, yes, he is. You knocked him out. On my, on my screen, you walked straight up to me and just swung twice. I don't see you at all, at all. Like, there's no, there's no one here. Print screen. Ooh. You're a liability, Paul. Well, I don't know what to say. You're not even a liability. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I thought me and my pike were bad. Oh, look, you're there now. Hi. Hi. So we never did actually test the, the instant death water. Um, if uh, yeah, anyone at home has uh, tested it and knows, let us know in the comments because uh, it'd be good to know. So, yeah, of course, it evolved. It was, um, yeah, you go in there, you die. Kill the things for you. Yeah, it's definitely something, definitely something else alive in here though. I think they're in the walls. I haven't used a grapple in ages, I mean. Artifact still hasn't come back, so we may have to leave and come back. Yeah, this doesn't look right. I just I just wouldn't touch that water. Oh! <laughs> I touched the water, Shane. It's just like a tea bag I, in there. I touched the water. I was in the water. Just, I don't know what's happening. Yes, the grapple. <laughs> it's making it bounce. Yeah, but it then look, it goes into the water and comes back out. Like he could go in the water. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, no, he was I... underwater like maybe three or four times. Yeah. Huh. Master crafted Bronto saddle blueprint and a 381.3 percent ascendant stone hatchet. <laughs> Alright, let's make our way back out again, and then edge our way back down. I think I can get back out this way. Yeah, it's watch but... out for bad things. Oh, it's come back. Yeah. I can already hear it. Hello. Oh. 
to watch down there. There's a bat. So yeah, that way would have made it safer. Instead of me going that way, but anyway. Yeah, everyone's going in different directions. Why not hit now? Yeah, but I don't know which way out is really. Oh, there we go. It's following an A4. I don't think it's this way. Well, I thought it was at first, but now I'm not so, so sure. I'll come back, I got the artifact. I'm worried you guys go. Oh, I got leg. I'm following Owen. Owen knows the way. No, you're definitely not going the right way. I'm at the exit. Yeah, we've never been this way before, by the way. <laughs> I am somewhere that should not exist. That's a bit full. <laughs> Man, I'm getting some serious legs in these parts. Yep, same. Oh yeah, come back this way. <laughs> It's so bad that leg. They definitely need to fix that. I find it's always at the entrance to caves. Yeah, it usually is. It's probably because that's where the um the instance is. Yep. Artifact of the Skylord crossed off the list. So uh yeah. Pretty good in the end, even though we lose lost a bit of our gear and had to do a new Rhino, but um, everything's on its way to, yeah, completing all the caves, which is nice. So if, yeah, if you want to see us uh, tackle the rest of them, it's not too many more to go, actually. Um, yeah, just like and subscribe and uh, follow our progress. And, um, yeah, we've got plenty more to come. As you can see here, a little sneak peek of uh, the Christmas get-up. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.